Pause recording. Hello, hello. It is Sarah Waggle, astrologer and leadership coach here. I've been meaning to do this video for a couple days, but life, right? We can all say that right now. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about the Gemini tea. This one's from Friday afternoon tea. Y'all, this is almost empty. Um, and the one thing is, is this one does have like fruit nibs in it, which does make it have like less cups of tea. Um, but that's okay. I also have a sample of this that they sent me in another order that I gave, that I, um, made with them. So, which I sort of thought was amusing because I had just ordered it and they sent me more of it. They must have known I was going to like it and I do. It has, um, kind of a lemony flavor to it with some subtle ginger. Um, what I have really liked about these Gemini teas from both a Friday afternoon and Adagio um, is they have been very calm, like as in they're not very bold in flavor. Um, they're very calm. They're both like whitish teas. Um, and so there's that. So I'm going to go steep that tea and then I'm going to put myself together so you can see how different my face is when it's not covered in complexion corrector. <laughs> and then I will be back to sip on it. Pause recording button. Pause recording. All right. So how's everybody doing through this Gemini season? I feel like I have heard a lot of people just talk about really going through it, really going through a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And I may do kind of a, some kind of a tips for getting through this summer. Um, but what I'll say is, you know, keeping yourself regulated, um, and whatever that looks like for you, whether that's your nervous system, your digestive system, whatever, whatever, um, keeping yourself regulated. Um, and I'm not the best at that. Uh, but, um, I do try to practice good hygiene in that area. The other thing I will say is taking time for breath work, really connecting to your breath, um, taking time for slowness and stillness. Um, this world is rapidly changing um, around us and, you know, some of us are upgrading to move with that changing world. Um, and so no matter what part of the journey you're on, um, you know, there's just, there's a lot of, a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff. And we've got Mercury in Gemini, um, about to Kazemi the sun later this week. And we've got Uranus hitting new territory in Taurus for the first time in 85 years. And, um, with just a lot of rapid fire change and a, rap a lot of things. And those solar flares are part of that too. So, um, that's why we have tea, or at least I have tea. <laughs> So one thing I'll say is I am in like a, a discord group that only talks about tea. Um, and so that's kind of a fun way that I share my tea journey experience. So like I said, I really like this one from Friday afternoon. Um, it's, it's got a little zing from the ginger, but mostly it's pretty lemony and pretty smooth to be honest. If you're wondering what I'm doing with the teas that are left over from moving through each zodiac sign, um, when the moon is in that sign, so for example, when the moon is in Aries, that's when I do the Aries teas. It's not an always thing, but at least it's something that I can do to continue to use up the teas that I've bought. Um, I have not rebought any of these teas because I'm still finishing buying the zodiac teas through Pisces. But I did buy gemstone teas. Um, there was a company that was selling teas that were related to and colored accordingly to gemstones. One was called Garnet, and I had a cup of that yesterday, and it had butterfly pea flower in it, which turns things purplish bluish. Um, so that's been a fun. It's been a fun way to like explore different ingredients and what I like and don't like. Um, one of my favorite ingredients in tea is, um, I'll, let me see if I'm gonna say this correctly, lapsung sochung, um, and it is smoked 
tea, so it brings a campfire or a smoky flavor to tea. It is one of my favorite ingredients. I love the flavor and the smell of smoky things. Always have. <laughs> it's been, a, I don't know why, it's just been a thing. Anyway, continue to really nurture yourself through this Gemini season, through this summer. It's going to be necessary as we continue on. So thank you for joining me for the Zodiac Tea Tastings. This has been a really fun adventure for me and I am going to go work on some other videos. Talk to you next time. Pause recording button.